And the, and the judges give low bonds there. They give low bonds, even for murder. They give, they're give they notorious for giving low bonds. But even then, watch this. Look, Keith, you know this, that this case is fairly important in terms of the direction that bond reform is actually headed in Harris County. And you're right. Today, the judge signaled she's on the cusp of making a decision. We all know it's criminals who commit crimes, but there are some high-powered people who think the bail bond industry is in collusion with the accused, charging next to nothing up front to bail them out. Just give me two today and go get the rest and come back. You're incentivizing crime. The Harris County bail... You heard that? Think about that. Think about if your city... They was notorious for giving low bonds. So the criminals know if I kill somebody, I'm still getting a bond. There's no way I'm not going to get a bond. They don't do the no bond thing. You're going to get a bond. But then you only got to pay 10% of that to the bail bondsman. So say, say you got a bond for $20,000, right? And you got to pay 10% of that to the courts, which is $2,000. Then you only got to pay 10% of that 2000 to the bail bondsman, which is 200 You could murder somebody, they give you a $20,000 bond. Then the bail bondsman asks for, um, the judge, the court asks for 10% of that, and then the bail bondsman asks you for 10% of what the court is asking for. You could theoretically in Houston have a million dollar bond. $100,000. And the bail bondsman will, will get you out for $10,000. Think about that. You have a million dollar bond in Houston and get out for $10,000. The bond board recently addressed the. Hey, come on, guys. You don't hear this nowhere. Make sure you support the channel. You don't hear this nowhere. Nobody can bring you this, man. Nobody on YouTube can bring you this. They don't know, man. We've covered this so much, man. We've covered this type of stuff so many times, man. They don't know this. Houston is a Houston is a war zone. Be in where a lot of rappers and a lot of people get killed in Houston because they're soft on crime. It ain't got nothing to do with loving yourself. They're soft on crime. The criminals need to be taught a lesson. Issue by requiring a ten percent minimum upfront payment. It's already in effect. But it's also now under fire. A lawsuit brought by a bonding company seeking an injunction to stop the 10% minimum rule, calling it, quote, price fixing and an antitrust violation. Friday, we found out a judge is now expected to rule next week on that injunction, suspending the 10% rule. Anybody in there, Channel 2? But also not yet resolved is exactly why the FBI raided a Houston bail bonding company about three weeks ago after the owner was just granted license renewal. What is clear is the bail bonding industry, at least in Houston and Harris County, remains in flux. Also, what's clear is no matter what side of the issue you're on, it's an important one for this community. And we have full coverage on our website. In fact, an entire section at click2houston.com. We're live down. What's up, Wicked? What's up, brother? It looks like you're spitting over here. Yeah, man. I mean, you you familiar with this? Um, that they can't listen. They can't do anything to these guys. How can you? How can you get a get, kill somebody? Get a fifty thousand dollar bond, owe the court five thousand, and then the bail bondsman. All you gotta do is give him five hundred. Right. If this is what racism looks like, imagine if it wasn't racist. Right. Oh my god. Oh my god. It would be murder would be legal, man. Murder would be legal, man. Um, Depends listen, on who does it, right? Right. And and listen though, look at this. Look at this. This is it's the night. Kate, you love this is this is Willie D. And listen, salute to Willie D. Man, I loved him as a rapper, man. I definitely don't want to act like I didn't. I I didn't love Willie D. as a rapper. That would be faking me, man. But he says loving yourself will stop the crime in Houston. It's not about the guys down there loving themselves, man. They need penalties. They the word on the street need to be if you execute somebody in broad day in front of 40 people, 
you're you're not getting out until until your court until your um trial, and that's only if you beat trial. Right. I'll do I'll do you one more. Sorry. Uh, I'll do you one more. If you get caught with a gun, you're not supposed to have your cut. You're gone. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Salute to um Tracy Jones, man. Investigates taking a closer look at the record of Harris County Judge Greg Glass. He and Harris County is Houston. Harris County is the county that Houston is. Gates taking a closer look at the record of Harris County Judge Greg Glass. He is the judge who let career criminal Dion Ledette out on bond last year. And while free, Ledette shot and killed a Houston police officer. Investigative reporter Jeremy Rogowski found Glass has a history of not keeping habitual offenders in jail. Repeat offenders of all kinds have come before Judge Greg Glass drug dealers, felons with weapons, and domestic abusers. Prosecutors repeatedly try to keep them in custody, records show, with motion after motion to deny bail. But the Honorable Glass routinely denies those attempts, setting bond in their cases and paving the way to get back on the streets. You keep letting them out. You keep spitting them out to reoffend. Andy Kahn is a victim. Okay. So this judge... Is Houston is the way it is because they had another rapper killed a couple of weeks ago, Lotta Cash DeSoto. She was from, I think, Memphis. She went down there for a show. She gets killed. That didn't get a lot of news because she wasn't um, famous. You had a jeweler, Duke right. the jeweler from, your, from where you from, Chicago. Right. He, he, gets, he they say he checked in with uh, mob ties, right? He, he, in with mob ties. he gets killed, but they just killed him. They just killed him three, four weeks ago. And listen, man, it, 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 and this is this creates a culture when even though the, the people who killed Duke the Jeweler didn't get caught and then and didn't get released on bond, just the fact that the culture is like this makes the criminal element, the guys who are out there doing the bad stuff, right, it makes them feel more comfortable and emboldened to do it. His advocate with Crime Stoppers. I call it the Harris County bond pandemic and people have paid the price. The girlfriend of Jorge Garibaldi paid the price, not once or twice, but three times. First, he allegedly kicked her in the head and face, then charged with stabbing her with a screwdriver. Judge Glass lowered his bonds in those cases and Garibaldi was released. So he gets a fifteen thousand dollar bond. He owes the court fifteen hundred. The bail bondsman, all he has to pay is ten percent of the fifteen hundred to the bail bondsman. So he gets out of jail on his fifteen thousand dollar bond for one hundred and fifty bucks after stabbing his girlfriend with a fucking um, kicking her in the head, stabbing her with a fucking um, screwdriver. Fifteen thousand. If you ask me, it's not enough either. Right. But at least he lowered it. It was higher, but this judge lowered it. This judge right here, Glass, is um he's just one of the judges too. They have a lot of yeah, judges in Houston like this. That's everywhere. So, I mean, anywhere these liberals are at, this is the name of the game. Yeah. And 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 this is this leads to people like takeoff getting killed because the guy doesn't think like, okay, I can't just blow this superstar's head off in front of all these people. If you know, but then he's like, "Fuck it," you know. Like, if you're a fucking savage, right? And you you work on impulses, and you 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 don't have the same inhibitions we have. You don't care like we care. Like me, right? I'm not gonna do no shit like that anyway. But if you're the type of guy that would do something like that, if you feel like, damn, if I get caught, judge gonna give me what a hundred thousand dollar bond? That's ten thousand I owe the court. Then I get a ten, bail bonds with 10% of that. That's a thousand. Right. I can get out for fucking thousand dollars. Exactly. I fucking blow this guy's brains out. And me and you both know, I, we both know these guys are dumb. They're not that dumb. They got eyes, they got ears. The streets talk, they listen. They know what's going on. They definitely know what's going on. You know, they're, they're hanging out with each other. They'd be like, yeah, foe, I just beat the case. Ooh, this or that, foe. Oh, yeah, definitely. So, you know, they know what's going on, man. It's not a doubt. They definitely salute to Nate Ways, man. Um, Nate Ways, Oc Nation All Star man. Um, yeah, and salute to um, um, TX forty seven. He says Oc in Dallas bodies drop in the projects, 
get collected and sold for parts. Houston probably too. I don't know nothing about that, but yeah, I, I do know that is it's crazy down there. You you know what, Chief? Uh, it's interesting around here in uh, the West Side, the Black neighborhood. They've been finding uh two different cases in a week of bodies uh like severed. Like they found the lower body last week, and then this week they found like the torso, another torso. Somebody's out here tapping bodies up, brother. That's probably on breathos, man. Some people don't it, do it, that it's the it's the some people doing it. Oh, really? It's like in the sun neighborhoods. Oh my god. And listen, that's on we're gonna we're gonna go back to our African roots, man. The the as as much as 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 the society takes the reins off of us and they give us more rope, we're gonna eventually take it back to Africa. We're gonna have right. um, mass it, it, graves and all types of shit. Yeah. It's gotta be the same motherfucker doing that one. I mean, that's that's absurd, you know. That don't yeah, really I happen mean, every could, day. It could be just us. Like in Africa, people don't like to admit it, but in Africa, we had human sacrifices, we had slavery, we had all these they probably food. still do. Oh, definitely, but and, and that stuff was natural to us. That's how we exist. That's why we kill each other so much because that's in our genes. Um, but the United States has kept us from killing each other because the laws are so strict. They've done um, a poor job about it too. Oh wow! Salute to salute to Big Bang Betty, man. Woo! The two nifty. Too nifty on the cash app. Salute to you, man. Blessing the day. I think that might be the biggest one we've ever gotten, man. Is that the biggest one we've ever gotten? That's a big one. That's the. I think that's the biggest one we've ever gotten, man. I think that's the biggest one we've ever gotten, man. Um, I think that's the biggest one we've ever gotten. But yeah, um. Salute, salute, um, salute, salute. That definitely salute, man. That's if they were to grab that guy cutting bodies up, he'd probably still get a low bind. Yeah, you want to get a bond. That's that's how they messed it up. See, what liberals say is, um, salute, salute for that though. Yeah, everybody give her a hand of applause, man. <laughs> everybody give her, everybody give her a round. The was, slow clap. Was, yeah, yeah, no doubt. Salute, salute to Georgia S, man. Georgia, Georgia says, um. She says, hey, I'm glad to see you back on YouTube. These judges and other leftist officials, including Obama, who are destroying the country, are weather underground terrorists. Yeah, this is terrorism. Let me, just think about it. This is terrorism because the judge is supposed to protect this woman. Look at look at what happened to this woman, man. Price, the girlfriend of Jorge Garibaldi, paid the price not once or twice, but three times. First, he allegedly kicked her in the head and face then charged with stabbing her with a screwdriver. Judge Glass lowered his bonds in those cases, and Garibaldi was released to allegedly assault the same woman again. To me, the defendant's a ticking time bomb. Khan says a long leash often leads to something worse. When you continually release defendants time and time again, you're giving them a license to kill. One week ago, exactly. Houston police buried one of their own, veteran officer Bill Jeffrey gunned down while serving a warrant by a man out on bond because Judge Glass didn't side with prosecutor attempts to keep him in jail. I want to know where Judge Glass is. Why has he not responded to any kind of messages from anyone? He needs to answer up for this. Judge Glass. So this, so this racist white, what do they call them, race soldiers? What, what, do, the, what do these people on YouTube mm. call them? These, these woke black people on YouTube, what they call them? Race soldiers? Um, white supremacists? This guy's letting letting all these brothers and all these old Britos out. I, I mean, and it's not like he's just doing it like without protest. The prosecutors are begging him to keep these people. Right. We know how woke the prosecutors are. Right. Exactly. <laughs> if the prosecutors are super woke, they're George Soros prosecutors. If right. they're begging you to keep the motherfucker, you know they're bad. Right. You know, I, I don't understand why it's hard to grasp the concept that if you keep letting this dude out, he's going to kill somebody. The way he's going, it's a matter of time before he murders somebody. You know, after, after getting caught with your fifth gun, Ankh, I feel like you, you're, you're dedicated to killing somebody. 
Yeah, but it's not only getting caught with a gun, it's getting caught with a gun while on bond for exactly. having a gun. Like in my day when I did my little stuff and whatnot, and I'm not going to sit here and act like I was some hardened criminal or nothing, but I was a son man. I did my little shit, you know what I'm saying? When right. I caught a case, my thing was, okay, I got a case, especially if it was a big case. Let me fly right. Let me um stop smoking. Um, or if at least if I'm a smoke, I'm gonna take the little drink. Back in the day, they had this little drink you could drink before you went to piss, and you could piss out um that instead of your urine, and you could pass test, or you could get somebody else's urine, put in a little bottle, a little tube, and stick it in your inner thigh so to stay hot, right. stay room temperature, and then you could when you go in there, you could pour it into the um, cup they give you to pee in, and um, you get to pee from somebody who doesn't smoke. But anyway. So I, I did my little thing and I, and I would always get a job or, you know what I'm saying, or follow the, the pretrial services while I was at a case. I very rarely caught another case while I had a case. Nowadays, Jeez. and that's because of the way it was, they would fire you. If you came back in front of that judge and he looked at your file and said, oh, since you've been out on, because in D.C. they PR you. you. You get personal cognizance or they keep you. There's no bond. It's either one of the two. So they PR a lot of people, personal cognizance. So I always got personal evil cognizance, personal cognizance. But if you come in front of that judge with another charge, man, they're going to fry you. You know what I'm saying? That that's gonna be a, that's, That would be a bad thing. Nowadays, there's no penalty for that type of behavior. So as a criminal, me personally, if that was the way when I was back, out there, I would have been more reckless. I would have been less... Um, less inhibited or less, you know, cautious while I had an open case. Right, set up for failure. Yeah, they, they're making, you're talking about people who are criminal. You're talking about fucking criminals, man. Because Judge Glass didn't side with prosecutor attempts to keep him in jail. I want to know where Judge Glass is. Why has he not responded to any kind of messages from anyone? He needs to answer up for this. Judge Glass gave us no answers either after we called him on his record. Dozens of cases where he turned down prosecutor pleas to keep violent criminals in jail. There's Damarian Gully, who was granted bond after separate aggravated assault, ag assault with a deadly weapon, and murder charges. There's Jarvis Williams, four separate charges, four motions to deny bail, four separate bonds. And there's James Carroll a five-time recipient of Judge Glass's bonds. Think about this, man. All these black criminals being released back into the black community. Man. Exactly. These black criminals are not going to fucking white people. Well, now they, they do they bring do. In white people. But they're not going to go to Judge Glass's live. neighborhood. Exactly. Like exactly. They live where they actually live as a black community. Now, they do fuck with other people. but and, But listen. This judge glad he's just this is just one judge. If I was a rapper after what happened to Duke the Jeweler, a lot of cash to soak though, and now um takeoff, especially takeoff, a superstar. I wouldn't go to Houston, man. I I just wouldn't go to Houston, man. There's what what's in Houston? It's not LA. I can see LA. You gotta go to LA. I heard they got good strip clubs. That's <laughs> what I heard. You gotta go to LA. You gotta go to Atlanta. You gotta go to Miami. You don't have to go to Houston. You you never heard this that. This is I, something we're seeing. Well, no, I, I I mean you know I haven't. Um, That's I haven't what they say that Houston got the strip clubs. Oh, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. With many district court judges, not just Judge Greg Glass. Cage. Heard that? Many that they're, they're all like that down there in Houston. This is something we're seeing with many district court judges, not just Judge Greg Glass. KGU 11 legal analyst, Carmen Rowe. And make no mistake, this is something we've never seen in Harris County before. So it's it's never been this way and it's never been this bad. It all ramped up, Rowe says, after the 2018 election sweep by Democrat judges. When it comes to the revolving door of felony bonds. You heard that? <laughs> Did you hear that? Did you hear that? If you about to vote Democrat, everybody who's still on the fence, whether to vote Democrat <laughs> or Republican, you need to listen to this. Never been this bad. It all ramped up, Rose says, after the 2018 election sweep by Democrat judges. When it comes to the revolving door of felony bonds, Rose says the elephant in the courtroom is politics. Mm. Yeah, man. 
Think about that, man. There's a lot of elephants in the room, apparently. Yeah, think about that. Think about that. This is where the rappers us keep getting killed. Now we all know how cap woke California is, but this is this is what take off and offset walked into. They thinking, you know, they in a place, you know, that's just regular America. Houston is not America. Houston is the wild, wild west. Houston is a <laughs> third world country. Going series breaking bond. We've been telling you how judges are freeing repeat violent offenders from jail by granting them multiple felony bonds or personal recognizance bond. It's cost more than 130 Harris County residents their lives. Tonight, we're going to tell you which judges granted bonds to the most defendants who are now murder suspects. Fox 26's Randy Wallace joining us live now from Southwest Houston. Randy. If a decision you made may have cost another person their life, would you at least feel like you owe some sort of an explanation? If your answer is yes, you're obviously not a Harris County Criminal District Court judge. They apparently feel like they owe none of us an explanation. The 138 Harris County residents who died due to the courthouse revolving door include an 83-year-old grandmother, three police officers. This is in the last two years. You have to understand this. All these people were killed with pe by people that were out on bond. This is not even all the Houston murders. This is just the people who were killed by people who were out on bond for violent offenses. In one city. An explanation. The 138 Harris County residents who died due to the courthouse revolving door include an 83-year-old grandmother, three police officers, and three unborn children. Sadly, the majority of the 138 victims of felony bond reform would be classified as people of color and minorities. Even though there's no court order mandating it, newly elected criminal district court judges took it upon themselves to grant bond to almost all defendants appearing before them, no matter how lengthy their criminal history. We've seen defendants on five, seven, eight, 10, 12, 14 bonds that you never saw. Think about it. Think about being out on 14 bonds. A guy walking the street, you run into a guy and you're having an argument with this guy or you in traffic and you cut this guy off and he's out on 14 bonds for violent offenses. He keeps getting locked up and keeps getting out. He hasn't even gone to court for the first one yet and he's on the 14th. Think about that. He hasn't even reached the court date for the first one and he's on the 14th. So he's just in and out. Think about that. You run into that guy in the street and you don't know he and you and you think you 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 gonna talk shit to him. You Billy Badass. You gonna you know you gonna trade words with him. Ever. The 138 victims of felony bond reform are just the ones we are aware of. Keep in mind, you got hundreds and of murders that haven't been solved. So we know this is kind of a low ball number. Here's the criteria for our research. The defendant turned alleged killer had to be free on multiple felony bonds or a felony personal recognizance bond. The district court judge with the most defendants he freed on bond, who later picked up a murder charge, is 182nd Judge Danny Lacayo. This is not even Glass. This ain't even Judge Glass. This is the one. This is the worst judge down here. This guy picked up a murder charge is 182nd Judge Danny Lacayo with 10. They include 41-year-old Johnny Zemano. But when it hits home, it's an unbearable pain. Say hi to mama. Say hi, mama. Six-month-old Jewel will never know her 30-year-old mother, Delisha Liam Blate. Her mother, Alicia Perez, blames Zemino and Judge Lacayo. She'd be here taking care of her children like I wanted her to raise her own children. Second place is a tie. 262nd Judge Lori Chambers Gray and 230th Judge Chris Morton. Both <laughs> look at this shit, man. This is what 
This is listen. I wouldn't go to Houston, man. Hit one if you would go to Houston, man. Who who here who here will go to fucking Houston? And then you fucking get in an argument with somebody. <laughs> like, listen, man. Listen, man. Not for nothing, man. We I, I always talk about this with some people. Our morality is external. If there's nothing forcing us, like religion or the criminal justice system, if there's nothing forcing us to be fucking, what do you call it, normal or fucking, Civil. <laughs> yeah, if there's nothing forcing us to be fucking, um, yeah, like just a nice person, man, if there's nothing forcing us, man. We not gonna do it, man. We not gonna do it, man. Salute to Mary M. She says some people are smartening up. Judge Glass just lost his reelection. Okay, that's good. They got they got rid of Judge Glass, but he's not even in the top three. Both with nine defendants. He's not even in the top three. 262nd Judge Lori Chambers Gray and 230th Judge Chris Morton, both with nine defendants they repeatedly freed on bond who are now charged with murder. Judge Lori Chambers Gray. Think about it. Think about it, man. Both these people have released nine people that the prosecutors begged them to keep that were already out on bonds that when they saw them in the courtroom, they were already they were coming back after being out on bond for multiple times and they still released him and that person went on to commit murder. Both of these people have nine people on their on their, on their case docket in the last two years. And they just, how do you sleep? They just sleep, they sleep like babies at night. And this is one city. If this was the whole country, it would be bad. This is one city. How does she fucking smile in a picture knowing that nine people she's released in the last two years, savage, savages, have went on to kill people? How do you sleep at night? Charged with murder. Judge Lori Chambers Gray repeatedly freed 28-year-old Darian Carraway, now accused of killing 46-year-old Patrick Akins. His sister, Teresa Seck, blames Judge Gray. And because of her decision, my brother had to pay with his life. And us as a family, we have to deal with the aftermath of that and that pain. 230th Judge Chris Morton gave 30-year-old Jesus Gallegos five bonds in just a one-year period. Now Gallegos... How does a judge see a guy five times? You're out on bond, I release you. You come back with still out on that first bond. I release you again. You come back still off those two bonds. I release you again. You come back still on those three bonds. I release you again. You come back still on those four bonds, and I release you again. How do you do that? And then you kill somebody, and I go to bed and sleep like a baby. This is Houston, man. This is a third world country, man. This is accused of murdering his 43-year-old girlfriend, Rita Acosta. She left a beautiful family behind Coming in third, 180th judge, Deshaun Jones. He repeatedly freed eight of Deshaun. <laughs> Deshaun, man. Listen, man. Listen, man. What's going on, man? What's going on down here in Houston, man? I like how you said, and coming in third. Yeah. Like a horse, like, horse race. This, this is one city, man. This is one city. Let me go. We got mail and... What's up, guys, man? Go ahead and chime in, man. What's going on? Good evening, gentlemen. How y'all doing tonight, man? What's up, Carl? What up, what up? How you doing? Man, man I just really want to just um give you give a little input on the whole Houston thing, man, because like I told you, I live in San Antonio, man, and it's crazy because like you can really see a difference in, in just how people move. It's like the Wild West. It's 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 truly like a like dude like I will never go to Houston and feel like oh I'm happy to be here this is a cool place maybe like a little visit but like not on some just feeling like like shit sweet like like or it's enjoyable or like anything like that man like I don't trust how they move I don't trust that whole mob tie shit I don't trust you can none feel of it that. you can feel I don't, it like I, don't, I ain't feeling none of that man like it's a whole bunch of stuff that no, takes place you can feel, here man you can feel the energy. Like, 
was they, feeling the energy. Man, dude, their energy is crazy, man. Like, like they because it's slow here for one. No disrespect if anybody on the panel from Texas, but it's slower here when you come from like the East Coast. So it's slow and it's like they they, they move different, man. Like, you know, you got to be really careful, man. It's real segregated. Really segregated, black, white, Hispanic, really segregated here, man. And it's like, you know, it's a different so can thing. Can you blame man. people? Can you blame people for not wanting to be around niggas? You, you, you know what? I, if I would have never came to live here, seeing it from an outside looking in, it'd be like, man, that's crazy. But now being here, like, I absolutely understand it. I absolutely understand it, man. Like, it's, it's some shit, man. Salute to, um, salute to Savrix, man. He says. Yo, some of your viewers and me live near, in near Houston, and the brazen violence has increased. So Savrick says the, he's seen an increase in the brazen violence. Oh, man, what's up, bad, man? What's up, man? Yeah, last time I was in Houston was 2012, and it was a crap hole then. <laughs> there, there was a mall there. Uh, it was called, like, the Shooter's Mall. Wow. Because people were literally getting shot there once, twice, three times a week. Wow. Wow. And that's back when we had a good economy. Wow. Yeah, this, this is just third, social justice one, though, man. Yeah, this is what they add. This is what this is what criminal justice reform looks like. Like yeah. because when you when you advocate for criminals, man, and you 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 change the laws that make it easier on criminals, you think you helping black people. Did you see how many Latinos was fucking Getting off with that shit and coming out and killing people, you y'all y'all have made the Latino community worse. You you black people and um advocating for this shit, y'all have made black people worse. Yeah, facts. I mean, just being being easy on criminals. I'm sorry, but jail is not for rehabilitation. Punishment. Jail is supposed to be punishment. Yeah, exactly. Um. Coming in third, 180th judge Deshaun Jones. He repeatedly freed eight defendants now accused of murder. Jones gave Teresa Balboa a PR or get out of jail free card. She's now accused of killing six year old Samuel Olson. Jesus Christ. Man, can we just give them a gun and have them off themselves and do society some good? Yeah, man. I mean, this is just sickening for one city, though. That and they and and this is this is not all of them because most a lot like half of their murders are not solved. So this number of one thirty eight people who've been killed by people out on um bombs, violent felony bonds, um, over the last two years. That that's just the yeah, that's just the ones that've been caught. It's probably double, triple that. And don't and don't forget to add in the whole child trafficking and all of that stuff that goes on too that they just can't seem to get right. Yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's, it's the wild west down there, man. It's, it's, it's crazy. It's crazy. Man. Awesome. I have contacted all of these judges more times than I can count. If any of you want to respond on camera, you know how to reach me. Reporting live from the southwest side, Randy Wallace, Fox Twenty Six News. Do I like this guy? No, there's now. So yeah, so she, Mary says the judge, Judge Jones. Which one is Jones? Is that is that the black one, Deshaun? I don't know. But one of these judges is up for um, re-election. One of these judges is up for re-election um, coming up soon. So yeah, that's good, man. That's good. That's good, man. Hopefully, yeah. they can get rid of him, man. That, that's why you got to pay pay attention to your local politics and your local yeah. elections. Yeah, man. It, your I school mean, this, boards, your judges, shit like that. That matters. Yeah, this is this is a cesspool, man. Um, I listen, man. I, I, <laughs> but but do you really think it'll change though? Let's just say you get a, a better politician. Can they really affect any type of change or order to stop whatever? Like, well, can they only just decrease can it? Change or? the laws. It's crazy, man. And and take the options away from the judges for punishment. Wow. You know, they, they can set bail minimums for certain crimes mm -hmm. in the law. And the judge, mm -hmm. if, if it's put in the law, the judge has no, you know, no leeway in that. Well, some might have to be done about it, man, because, I mean, it's oh, yeah. crazy, dude, you know? Well, and, and it, you know, with the prosecutors, 
how many times have these guys been on paper and they got they got no bail? Yeah, this is. I mean, it's. it's you know, it's they sticky. they just didn't put it up in front of a, a jury. Didn't put paper on it. Let them go. It's sickening, man. It, it it is really sickening. Um, let's see what's going on in Atlanta, man. They they just won the World Series too right now. Actually, you know, one of us are gonna die tonight. Oh, Houston just won the World Series. 